Hey guys, it's Chris from Smithy Fitness. Welcome back, good to see you. So I've got my 28 kilo bell and my 32 kilo bell. And this is the last day I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna go to 32 and 36 next time. So my next video, you'll see me with that. But I wanna to talk to you about something I saw on Twitter the other day. And there's, uh, or maybe it was YouTube, but there's one doctor who came out. He's a very fit guy, just a couple of years younger than me. And he's a big proponent of sprinting. And uh, was saying that sprinting is the best exercise you can do. Name me a better exercise you can do, um, especially as your sprints will only last 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds at the most. And I thought about it and I thought, well, what about, you know, the clean and jerks? As you know, I, I do the Olympic lifts and uh, doing a heavy clean and jerk, that will gas you. And you're working your whole body, squat, your, your press, it's athletic. So what about that? And I'd say they're pretty close, but you know what they both have in common? High injury risk. That's what they both have in common. Even if you're young, sprinting and doing the uh, Olympic lifts have a high injury possibility. And when you're, you know, my age, uh, that possibility becomes a probability. In fact, I know I can't sprint without pulling a hamstring or hurting my calf, so I, I don't do it. But I can go 80%, maybe 85%, but certainly not 100%. So let's talk about farmer's carries as what I would say is a superior exercise to both of those, and maybe one of the best exercises of all exercises for people above, say, 50, especially 60, 65, 70. And we'll talk about that in the next segment. So there's so many benefits of uh, farmer's carries. First of all, you're gonna work your grip. And you know, there's a high correlation between life expectancy and strength of grip. If you go shake an 80 year old's hand, um, if they've got a firm handshake, they've got at least 10 years to go. If you feel like you're gonna turn their hand into dust, if you put any uh, strength on it, they probably don't have longer for this world. So grip is, is a huge thing and that's the first thing you notice forearms, trapezius right up near my neck and neck. They're all working hard. They're all gonna grow. What about your legs? You know, this is hard work. This is 132 pounds I'm carrying here. So the legs are working very hard. The core, you know, I've got to stay stable. So the core, my stomach muscles are, are working as hard as possible. So, it, it really works everything. It's loadable. So look, you can buy kettlebells. They don't cost very much. I think I've got eight or nine. They start at eight kilos. My heaviest one right now is 40, but they'll last forever. They're indestructible, these things. You can pass them down in your will. So you buy a couple. As you get stronger, you buy another one and go up in weight. So you want to be continually pushing you know this is part of that big shiny goal I talked about in the last video where you're trying to you know get real do something ridiculous carry something really heavy maybe get up to carrying a hundred kilos you know so this is what is so easily easy to do with farmers carry 
all it takes is determination. So the farmer's carry is number one for the older population. Sprinting, clean and jerks are great if you're super fit, do them, they're awesome. But day to day, farmer's carries will take you a long way. Thanks for watching guys, great to see you, and I'll see you in the next one.